In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. The first reading today told us that when the three children believed in the protection of God, God set them free. It reflects the meaning of the Gospel when Jesus said, when we trust in Him, his truth, His Spirit will set us free. Let us pray that with the blessing, the forgiveness from Jesus, we are free from sin and from all anxieties. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, It is true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up. Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O King. May he save us. But even if he will not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual, and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, 
I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, Praiseworthy and exalted above all for ever. Glory and praise for ever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all for ever. Glory and praise for ever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all for ever. Glory and praise for ever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious for ever. Glory and praise for ever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A holy gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you 
then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. We see a very close connection between the first reading and the Gospel. And then the challenge is, what is the connection from the Gospel to our life? The connection we see from the first reading to the Gospel is, the three children believe in God. Even they had challenges. Even they faced the death. They believe in God. And God set them free. And from there, it led to the Gospel. Jesus was facing death. People wanted to kill Jesus. He still spoke about the truth, the connection between him and God the Father. As the three children trust in God, Jesus trust in his Father, God the Father, and continue to preach, to evangelize the truth and about the truth. Now, what is our connection to Jesus, to God? to his plan. That is another challenge. We know from the first reading, the three children, when they had problems, they strongly trust in God. Jesus, when he had problems, he strongly trust in God the Father. Your will be done, not my will. That is what he prayed. We, in these days, even it is very good for us to prepare for this coming week, Holy Week, but also each of us in these days are tremble because we are facing the crisis, pandemic, coronavirus. Should I trust in God? How much should I trust in God? We should see the challenge and the story. Jesus trusted in God the Father, did not mean he did not have the crucifix, did not mean he can avoid all sufferings, did not mean he can avoid even the death. But for sure, Jesus was at peace. And Jesus knew he fulfilled his mission. That is the spiritual feeling we need to have in these days. We are working with Jesus throughout the Holy Week. We have to trust in Jesus. Maybe some of us face the pandemic Maybe some of us can be freed from that illness. But most important, we are attached to Jesus and we have the real peace, the real peace. 
we put everything in God's hand. That is important. That is very important for our journey in these days. Good plan to prepare ourselves for the Holy Week. And we can say, Lord, hold my hands. I always want to hold your hands. And I want to see your hands holding my life. Let us offer petitions to God, praying for all families, all people who are suffering because of the pandemic. We pray that when they trust God, God does not leave them alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the doctors, the scientists, that very soon they will find some good medicine to heal and to cure this pandemic. We trust in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our faith. In whatever situation, we know God does not forget us. And we as His children have the right to ask Him to protect us. Let us pray to the Lord. And now let us offer to God your own petitions. Lord mighty God, you know our needs. Grant them to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. 
And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in the salvation we acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together with Francis, our Pope, Gerald of Bishop, and Berto of Washington Bishop, all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor in your forever and ever. Amen. Trusting in God, together let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the spiritual communion, please recite with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, 
that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to serve the Lord and one another.